Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. For this week there is another cling film mountain. If you've seen my previous video and read the description then you know that I've lost the footage of two other cling film paintings. As I've said before, I was going to experiment a little more with this technique and for this painting I actually didn't use cling film, I used a plastic bag. I can already tell you that I didn't get the best effect with this, but it does give you a cheaper alternative. I got the bag at the grocery store from the fruit or vegetable section. Since I didn't really like the results, I don't think I'll be using any more bags as a cling film replacement. So I'm just going to stick with the cling film. In my previous uh, paintings that I did that I unfortunately cannot show you, I've used cling film that was uh, way thinner than I did in the first video. So the thinner the cling film, the better results you get. This is the third or fourth painting that I've done with this technique and I've noticed that it's quite important to draw a very detailed outline. Usually I draw the outline very lightly but this time I made it a little darker because when you paint the first layer you lose a lot of the outline and it's very hard to see where you have to put your second layer. So make it as visible as possible. Instead of putting on the highlights with white acrylic in the last step of the painting, I decided to try out masking fluid. The masking fluid will make sure that the watercolor doesn't touch that part of the painting preserving the white layer below. For this painting I looked at a reference picture and I am placing the masking fluid on the parts where there was snow. I start out by coloring the background. If you want you can let the background dry before going on to the next step. For this painting I pick the colors the way I always do. I use yellow for the lightest part. For the midtones I use pink and or orange. And for the darker parts I will use purple or blue. Make sure that you put on enough water, but don't make the colors too dark. You need to remember that the second layer you're going to put on is going to be the darkest value. When it comes to watercolor, you have to pay attention to the dry time. If you are in a very hot place or you're using paper that sucks up water easily, you might have to work real fast and do it in sections. So here I place down the color really fast and then put on the cling film when it's still wet. As I said before, you should make sure that you're using light layers. And you can see here that I'm taking away a lot of color because I realized it was too dark. The key with the cling film is to create a texture with as small detail as you can possibly get. So that's why it's best to use very thin plastic or very thin cling film. After this you need to let it completely dry and I prefer not to speed up the process with a blow dryer. Here you can see that the result isn't as great as it was with the cling film. With cling film I had very sharp edges around each section. 
for the last layer I am going back to my reference picture and putting in darker values of the same color that I have below. This way you create more depth into your painting. This is the third painting that I've finished and I must say that I am still not happy with how they turn out. I think it's because I'm used to more contrast. Usually I put a lot of color on the paper and then I finish it off with black outlines and I really had to force myself not to do that with this painting. Thinking of it, maybe I should just try it once, you know, do another one and actually just draw the outline with ink or put in black watercolor, who knows how that might turn out. So I might try it again and experiment with more contrast and just adding the same colors and I will definitely do a tutorial when I feel ready for it. I want to give you the whole package and every explanation and why I do certain things. We're almost near the end of this video. As always, you can find a list of the tools I'm using in the description below. And if you have any questions, feel free to give me a comment and I will answer as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and until next time.